All right, so in this video, we're going to start um, reviewing like terms um, because in order to add certain quantities, they have to be what's considered like terms. So all terms in an expression represent numbers, and it's not just expression, it's also equations, but we're going to start with some expressions and then move to equations. Um, we have constants, and we also have numbers that are being multiplied. So constants are numbers like 7 or 52, just a number. It's not being multiplied by anything, we just see that it's being added or subtracted. So it could be plus 7, minus 52, something like that. Um, and then we have numbers that are being multiplied. So we would see that where it would be 7x or 52y, something along those lines. So that's being multiplied by something, and that's called a coefficient. So that's a different type of term because now we're adding multiplication to that. We can also do that with division. So we could have the, you know, x divided by two, or same idea, you could have like one half x, something along those lines. Um, this is also the same idea. It doesn't have to just be multiplied. It can be multiplied or divided. Um, numbers that are alike have the same operation and can be combined. So what I mean by the same operation is they're either being multiplied or divided by the same thing. Um, Addition and subtraction don't actually change that, so I could have, you know, 7x plus 5x, and those are perfectly fine, or I'll switch the operation so that, that makes a little more sense, because technically this is positive and this is negative. That's not the operation I'm talking about. I'm talking about multiplication or division, um, because if I have 7x and x divided by 7, these are not the same operation. Um, I still can combine them, because I could make this 1 7 x and then I can combine that with the 7x, whether it's subtraction or addition. Um, I would have to, have to use the fraction rules there. All right, so now we're just gonna look at this little group here and say, okay, well, how could I group these um, items um, that we see below? So hopefully we all recognize that these are fruit, and so we have different types of fruit. So I could definitely group them by type, right? Um, so I have apples, I have grapes, and I have watermelon. So this is the same for variables. Constants are the numbers that are not being multiplied, such as 3 or 57. So the same idea, kind of use 7 and 52 up here. Variables um, have to be the same letter because different letters represent different numbers. So that's like up here where I had 7x and 52y. Well, x and y, they're unknown quantities, but they're different because one is x, one is y, so they're two different unknown quantities. So remember, a variable is just a placeholder for something we don't quite know yet. We're going to, you know, figure that out as we move to equations. Um, so it just holds a place. Instead of it being, you know, seven question mark, I have seven something, I can use uh, a variable because it makes it much easier to have a name. Um, so think of that as a name of, of a number I don't know yet. Um, also, the variables have to have the same exponent because exponents represent repeated multiplication. So what that means is I can not have 7x plus 2x squared because what this x squared means is it's x times x. So I have an extra bit of multiplication here because this does mean multiplication, but now I'm multiplying a little bit more. I have 2 times x times x. So PEMDAS says I'm going to have to do this multiplication before the addition because it's not the exact same type of multiplication. Um, so if you just had the 2x and now I just have this. Now, yes, they're still both being multiplied, which should be done before the addition, but because they're both being multiplied by exactly the same number, some of our properties of math say that I can go ahead and add the coefficients or subtract the coefficients, whatever's being done. Um, so I'm going to kind of undo that so that it's not our way here. Um, so now we're going to replace the items above with variables. So we get to choose the variables for them. Um, so I'm going to go A for apple, A for apple, G for grapes, A for apple, G for grapes, and W for watermelon. So I just replaced, instead of pictures, I just replaced it with a variable. So, and again, could I use pictures in my diagram or in my equations? Sure, if I really wanted to. I could, instead of having 7x, I could have 7 smiley face. It's just a placeholder, that's all it is. So we generally, we use the, the variables because it's very common, um, and that's the common practice we've come across. But it can be anything at all that you would like it to be. Now, will Alex accept a smiley face? No. Um, it's going to, to require you to do a, a regular variable. Um, but when you're writing this out on paper, honestly, you can use any symbol you would like as a variable. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to combine like terms. 
So you can see I have A, A, whoops, my pen is freaking out a little bit here. Stop doing that pen. A, A. So I have three A, so I just literally count one, two, three, so I have three A. And then two G, and I only have one watermelon, so just uh, W. I don't have to put the one in front of it, it is assumed that it's there. If you don't see a number in front, it's a one. That's just an assumption we make. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and add like terms down here. So we have negative five U plus five U. So I have negative five and I'm adding five to that. And we can always look at a little algebra tile idea here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So I have negative, 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 negative. So here's my negative five and each one is a U. And then when we have a positive, what negatives and positives do is they literally cancel each other out. One negative, one positive becomes zero. So if I have five negatives and five positives, I can go through and each one of these ends up getting crossed out because I have one, two, three, four, five negative and one, two, three, four, five positive. So really, negative five U plus five U cancels out, it goes away. So all I'm left with is negative 12. That's the simplified version of this expression. All right, if we look at the next guy here, we have 6x minus 3x. So 6x, that would be positives. So I'm gonna use yellow for positives. One, two, three, four. So here's my positive six. And you don't necessarily have to use algebra tiles. This is just a very quick visual way to understand what's happening with the numbers. And then I'm gonna take three of those x's away. One, two, three. So I'm left with these two and they're positive. So I have two, oops, you know what I did? Haha, I only put five there. I'm glad I noticed that. There should be six positives because we should have three left over, not two. So make sure you're paying attention when you're counting that the first time I, I did five the, the second time, just like I did the first time. What is wrong with my pen today? Okay, there we go. For some reason, it was giving me some grief there. So you have three X. So this is the same idea as just saying six minus three is three, and then I keep the X with it. They're both being multiplied by X, so I bring the X with these numbers. It's um, the six and the three are just the coefficients. How many of that number do I have? I have six of X, I have three of X. Okay, I'm multiplying it by those numbers. All right, down here, what we get to do is a little bit of distribution. Whenever I see parentheses, I'm gonna have to take that number in front of the parentheses and distribute it. That means we're gonna multiply. Okay, so I have y, um, and then I'll do that in pink just so you can see it. Negative four times six is negative um, 24. Jeez Louise, what is wrong with my pen today? Of course, it's during a video that it's being all goofy. 24, and then the z was with the six, so it, it gets included. It just comes with this six. So it's negative four times six z, so it's negative 24z. And then negative four times negative y, well two negatives make a positive, and four times y is four y. And then on the end there we just have plus z, seven z. So now I wanna go through and add my like terms. So I have y, remember this means one y, and I have four y. So I'm gonna change the color there so that you can actually see it. So this means five y because one plus four is five. So I didn't draw all the algebra tiles there, but you're welcome to do that. Um, and then we also have, I guess I'll circle in red here, we have negative 24z and 7z. Um, I can leave that in red. So negative 24, if I were to draw out negative 24 blocks and then cross out seven of them, I'm definitely still gonna have negative blocks left over because 24 is more than seven, if I'm thinking of just the number, not necessarily negatives and positives. So I have more negative than positive because 24 is bigger than seven. So I'm just gonna take 24 and subtract seven from that. So I would end up with 17 and then we wanna make sure we put the Z on it. All right, same thing for this next one. We're gonna distribute the six that's out in front here. So I'm gonna have six times negative four W, that's gonna be negative 24 W. And then six times negative three X, so it's gonna be negative 18 x 
And let's see, I'll do this one in blue. So now we're going to distribute this other one because we have two different sets of parentheses. So we get to distribute again. So we have negative 2 times negative x. Two negatives make a positive. 2 times x is just 2x. And then negative 2 times negative 6w again. Two negatives make a positive. 2 times 6 is 12. And then we bring the w with it. So now we're going to do that same thing. We're going to add like terms. So I have negative 24w and positive 12w. So again, 24 is bigger, or it's more than 12. So I know since the negative is bigger, I'm going to have a negative number, and I'm just going to subtract. 24 minus 12 is 12w, and then I have negative 18 and positive 2. So again, more negatives than positive, so it's going to be negative. 18 minus 2 is 16x. All right, so that was kind of our review there on adding like terms. Just make sure you're paying attention to whether or not they have the same variable and the same exponent, and then also pay attention to that order of operations because that is always present when we're simplifying. And eventually when we get to solving, we make sure we're always following the order of operation when we're doing simplification. All right, I hope that helped, and I will see you in the next video.